What movie do you enjoy that you will 100 agree is a bad movie? Gone in 60 seconds. Say what you will, but I can watch this every day. The Core. Terrible movie, lack of science or logic but I just find it so gripping. Van Helsing. It's Hugh Jackman, Kate Beckinsale a la The Glory Days of 2004. It's got a 27 on Rotten Tomatoes. 610 on IMDb but there's something about the dry jokes smattered in what's supposed to be high-tension scenes, or scenes of sexual tension. The special effects aren't the greatest but at the same time it also adds to the experience. Deep Blue Sea. I mostly enjoy that one unexpected scene. Check it out. Without a paddle. Fucking hilarious, and also dumb as hell. The Core. I'm paraphrasing here, but there's a portion in the movie where everyone says it can't be done but one guy takes a drag on a sig and says but what if, we could. The entire movie progresses on that point. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's so much fun and I love the Nautilus. Batman Robin is certainly a bad movie. I love it so much. It's worth watching for Arnold and his puns alone. But the whole movie is just campy fun. Early Van Damme movies. They are awful but I've seen them all multiple times. Give me a kickboxer double impact double feature and I'll be there to watch that garbage. The Super Mario Brothers live action movie. Don't care, love it. Dude Where's My Car. Edit Zoltan 10. 10. Street Fighter with Raul Julia as Bison and Kylie Minogue as Kami. Oh, and a Samoan bloke as E. Honda, because 90s. Center Stage. Ghost Ship. Fool's Gold. It's a dumb movie that makes no sense but for some reason I go back and watch it at least once a year and enjoy it every time. The Faculty. It's cheesy, and some parts are almost laughable. But it's a fun watch and I love it. Balls of Fury. Eurotrip. X200B. However I feel conflicted about calling this movie bad as I personally feel it was unfairly ignored by the Oscar committee. Scotty doesn't know. You kissed your sister. Club Vandersex. Fiona. House Bunny. Encino Man. Ernest Scared Stupid. But any of the Ernest movies will do. Biodome. I love every minute of it. I loved Roadhouse. But pretty bad. The Day After Tomorrow. It's bad, 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 but such a fun watch. Blades of Glory is. Night at the Roxbury. Anaconda. Ghost Rider. I love it, but it is pretty cringe NGL. Masters of the Universe. Frank Langella is incredible as Skeletor and it's a genuinely fun movie. The commentary track explains that since Motor were toys with no story whatsoever, they basically wrote is as an unauthorized Darkseed film. The Cutting Edge. Tokyo Drift. Arguably debated as the start of the franchise's downfall but one of my favorites despite that. Armageddon. It is a shit Michael Bay movie that makes no sense and has scenery chewing all over and I am there for every minute of it. XXX. Hackers. Hack the planet. Kung POW enter the fist. Battleship, it's a generic action disaster movie but when Thunderstruck starts playing I always get pumped. Hudson Hawk. Masters of the Universe. Kung POW. Zardoz. Constantine is my favorite movie but everyone I make watch it says it's so bad. Joe Dirt. Such a dumb movie, but still makes me laugh. The entire Fast and Furious franchise is just an over-the-top action wet dream but I love it.
It's like when you were a kid playing with toy cars and action figures, but with a $20 million budget. Vegas Vacation. So bad, but so rewatchable. Hardcore Henry. It's such a wildly bad movie, but I could watch it 100 times. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Movie is just a fucking mess of horrible writing, god I love it so much. Could watch it anytime and anywhere. PCU, it's pretty terrible but in a super fun way. Plus, there are a couple of early appearances by some pretty recognizable actors. I have seen it countless times. Age of Adeline is one of my favorite movies. I know the storyline is ridiculous but I just love the movie, I'm a sucker for time jump travel immortality. SWAT The Waterboy Hate to say it but I really enjoyed watching Morbius. Dude Where's My Car? Sphere Often the criticism stems from comparing it to the book, which I think is somewhat unfair. Mystery Men Repo the genetic opera. The plot makes no sense, the music isn't that good in a musical, and they thought having Paris Hilton sing was a good idea. But damn it, I love it. Strange Brews. Canadian classic. Cabin Boy. 48 on Rotten Tomatoes, a 21 Metacritic score and chock full of stupid goofy quotes. 13 Ghosts. Sucker Punch. It's a bad movie but that music soundtrack is 100 badass and makes the movie good AF for me. Orgasmo. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Dream Catcher. Spice World. Never was into the Spice Girls, but I like their movie. One on my list of guilty pleasure movies. Jupiter Ascending. It's stupid as fuck, it's got an awful plot and the characters are all ridiculous. It's an objectively bad movie and I love it. Van Helsing. The one with Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale also in the Underworld movies. I watched it over and over again as a kid and now I like its campy over topness as an adult. You don't mess with the Zohan. House of 1000 Corpses. I just remember being a little kid running around my room going bleh Dr. Satan blah and I had just seen the commercial. I love it but it's such a bad movie but that's also part of its charm because it just feels like one long music video set to hammy acting and scenery chewing. Plus I got one of my favorite sayings from it boy I bet you'd stick your head in a fire if I told why you could see hell. Running man fuck yeah, Arnie, cut that dude's balls off with a chainsaw. Basketball. Face Off. As an adult I know this movie is objectively terrible. Still love it. Any Paulie Shaw movie, I cannot let them pass by. I have to watch, 